Yeah, my name is uh, Roger Cloutier, and I'm Commanding General of U.S. Army Africa Southern European Task Force. The African Land Forces Summit uh, is a venue where we bring together over 40 land chiefs, our interagency partners, the African Union, United Nations, uh, and our SPP partners, uh, and we come together like we are this year in Haberoni, Botswana, to discuss the complex security challenges that we all collectively face here in Africa. ALFS is important because none of us are gonna operate or fight alone. So it's a venue where we bring leadership together to strengthen partner networks, develop relationships, look at best practices, and figure out ways that we can be more interoperable as we all operate together in Africa. Uh, this is really about developing the partnerships and the networks before you need them. None of us are gonna train or operate independently, so interoperability is a key. Uh, and it allows us also uh, to demonstrate the fact that the United States is the preferred partner of choice in Africa, and this is where we build that relationship and grow it over time. So at ALPS, we'll have a series of bilateral engagements, multilateral engagements. We'll have three large group plenary sessions uh, where we'll talk about regional organizations, multinational task forces, uh, and cooperation and peacekeeping. So it's a venue where we're all going to come together uh, through these engagements uh, to discuss common security challenges on the continent. Our Botswana partners have been um, fabulous co-hosts. They put together uh, an absolutely magnificent event. Uh, and I'm really excited about the issues and challenges that we're going to discuss uh, that we all collectively face in Africa. America should be proud of her sons and daughters, the great young men and women that are here in Africa getting after it every day. They're far from home. They're on the cutting edge of American foreign policy. But they're getting after it every single day. And America should be proud of these young men and women in uniform that are doing a magnificent job here in Africa.